Hi everyone, so today I'm going to make one bowl garlic knots. Um, I love making these just on a whim because they're nice to have around the house, something you can snack on. I love giving them to my daughter. Um, so the first step is you're going to do is you're going to do the um, water and yeast and you kind of have to let that sit for about five minutes just to get them, let them combine. Um, you definitely want like luke, uh, lukewarm water. And then I'm also adding in um, sugar. You'll see the recipe on the screen that'll be added. So it's sugar, water, and about the same amount of a packet of yeast. I keep my yeast in a mason jar. <clears throat> so once that's set for five minutes, I started adding my flour. It's three and a half cups of flour. I do it slowly while I have the dough attachment on. After I mixed it up, I put a, um, a nice uh, dish cloth on top to keep it warm and I let it sit for two hours to uh, rise. I didn't get the clip of it risen, but it did look really nice. It was nice and bubbly. <laughs> so here I am kneading it. You definitely want to knead it for a good amount of time because it definitely gets all that those air pockets in. I did knead it for about five minutes straight. I don't think this whole clip will have that, but um, you know, and it's kind of relaxing, something to do, <laughs> and it makes the the garlic knots really nice. And then I always have extra flour just to keep it nice and dry. You don't want the dough to be sticky or anything. <clears throat> so here I am making the um, topping for the garlic nuts. So I have fresh garlic, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, butter, and grated cheese, and salt and pepper. And so here is my butter um, melted. So I cut the garlic up into little chunks. I love like chunky garlic on top of garlic nuts. I think it's so delicious. So I cut that up really small. I know I'm not using the right knife. I just like using these kind of knives for when I cut garlic, just because you feel like you have more control instead of one of those big knives. So I like to cut it up kind of like rough, nothing, not, not any of the same sizes whatsoever. Then I add the garlic to the butter. And then I added the Italian seasoning, the garlic powder, and salt and pepper into the mixture. Then I cut my garlic knots into little chunks with my pizza cutter, and then I just rolled them out. And then basically you take the piece of dough, roll it out into like a snake kind of uh, shape, and then you do two knots. I do two knots every single time. So I just knot it until it looks like a little knot like that. So I just work on that until I have a ton of them um, done and you actually could do this with savory flavors too I've done it before where I've done the same recipe but I do butter cinnamon and sugar and kind of make them like a savory garlic knot versus like a like a salty um, I'm not a savory I'm sorry a sweet garlic knot versus a savory garlic knot because it's kind of just like a basic dough recipe that you can do anything with And I love using those Martha Stewart flat um, baking sheet baking sheets because nothing gets stuck to them and everything cooks perfectly on them. So the dough should be kind of elastic and work pretty work pretty well with for you. Um, if it's too sticky, you can just keep adding flour. I had enough flour here, so I didn't need to keep adding. <clears throat> And once I have my knots all nicely placed on the pan, I mix up my mixture and I take a um, like a basting brush and I brush on the butter garlic powder mix garlic garlic powder mixture. I like to put a lot, so I I only made about five here, but I kept some dough to the side because I'll make another batch. I kind of like how you know put it on pretty heavy. You definitely want to get the sides because the more butter all around the knot, the more golden brown it'll be. Then I add extra Parmesan cheese right on top because that'll melt and be really extra delicious. And I put them in the oven at 350 for about 10 to 15 minutes. I love to use the convection oven too. So this is the finished product. They were really yummy. Thanks, guys.